Oh, that's right in the screws. What a start here for the Sri Lankans. They got seven off it. Better length, he gets an outside edge, but the brings the slips into play. I know it's four runs, but he must continue on that length. How fast is this outfield? Again, slowing the slowness of the pitch. That's uh, Kaushal Silva. Just uh, dabbing at that delivery and uh, angling the bat and it races through. Shot and wide and put away nicely by Silva. Abdul Rahman will give up the chase now. He pounces on any opportunity that comes his way, Silva. You can describe him as a dogged defender, but have a look at this one. Whenever the opportunity comes, Roshan is up for it. Shot wide and asking uh, to be punished. Another cracker from Silva. Just stood up and uh, was begging to be put away. And uh, I thought Kaushal Silva was really good. Got to his full height, Silva. There you are. You could see that uh, that doesn't speak too much in terms of height. But certainly he reached to that delivery and uh, rolled his wrist in that gap. Lovely shot. Will this be hauled in? Fielder gives it a chase, and it's Said Ajmal who kicks it into the fence. Just not good enough. First day of a brand new session of a brand new test match. And uh, you look lethargic in the field. That is just not acceptable, whether you're a champion player, champion bowler or not. Yes, I think uh, that's bad. That's poor. He realized it. And that's another square card. You give him room outside the off stump and he punishes it effectively and productively. This is poor from Abdul Rahman. Even the previous delivery was short, asking for trouble. And Upul Taranga outside that off stump is not going to miss out. That's his strong zone. Oh, missed it. There came the opportunity. It's bounced so much that it's gone on to hit. Safras Ahmed in the air. Awkward bounce. Awkward bounce. Was that off the bat? No. It did take off. Not easy to pick that one up. That just shot up at him. That type of bounce you wouldn't expect on a pitch like this. He'll have a headache, definitely, if not more. That's played away fine. Very nice tickle around the corner. Elegantly done. It's not an elegant shot, but uh, Silva did make it look extremely watchable. 69 without a wicket down. The bails are off as well. And so at lunch, Sri Lanka would go back, have a bit of a spicy Sri Lankan curry, and feel happy about the first two sessions. I'm not too sure about Mispa what he'll have. Maybe a lot of curd and a lot of ice cream to relax him. Glum face is... Uh, if uh, you're looking at some of the Pakistani cricketers, and this se session has been a quiet one, but a steady one, and Sri Lanka would happily take it. Edge. No doubt about it this time. Certainly carried, I thought, and went quite quickly to the fieldsman at slip. You need those sharp reflexes. 
Look at this, squared him up. And quick edge. And just bounced in front, just short. Edge. That's number one. And he's been bowling that length, that bowling that line for quite a while now and finally gets a reward. Kaushan Silva has uh, always found that area a little bit vulnerable. He's pushed at a delivery outside the off stump. Almost the line he got out at goal. That time he was driving, this time he was pushing. And Pakistan have done their homework perfectly. Silva utterly disappointed out for 41. Sri Lanka 79 for one. Nicely played. That's his zone. Nupul Taranga just leans into it. And oh, that's a magnificent boundary. That is a magnificent boundary. He plays these guys, these Pakistani boys, with his eyes shut. He's that good. Oh, batsman in absolute uh, form came down so nicely on it hitting over the top of the ball seeing that it went along the ground it just sped away a lot of good value on this ground for shots like that oh, that's a beautiful cover drive wow that's the hundred up yes uh, again he's got his methods and what a fine shot that was it's half volley, but you have to deal with it. You have to put it away for runs. And uh, just look at uh, Taranga. But it was squarish as opposed to what uh, Sangakar does play, but the result was absolutely Come brilliant. Around, Come around, mate. Oh, he cuts it away, and that's his 50. A beautiful square cut indeed. Just gave him a hint of room outside off stuff. And he does the business. Well played. That's nicely played. That's racing down to the boundary. Just again using the pace of the ball. Wider the crease that time, a hint to width, got it in the middle of the bat, runs it away. Well, that's a lovely shot. So good to watch Upul Taranga when he's driving in that fashion. Great placement, stunning placement from Upul Taranga because it was a flighted delivery and we're talking about Saeed Ajmal flighting the ball and having hoodwinked him once or twice, this wasn't an easy shot. There you see making room and finding the gap, it was a minute one and he found it. The timing was flawless as well, exposing the stumps, what a good shot from Upul Taranga. It's another cracker. Upul Taranga versus Said Ajmal, and Ajmal is losing this battle. He's placing it so well. There's a wide gap, and he just finds it perfectly. Tossed up, forward uh, foot, and then guiding it. Just a little bit of caress, not much far behind that stroke. Lovely looking shot. And of course, that's four runs. No need to chase it, my dear fellow. Now that was beautifully set up by Wahab Riaz. 
Bouncers followed by more bouncers and then a full-length delivery that shaped in and Sangakara was not in a position to play that. Now, he's been asked to wait because umpires want to have another look at the landing foot and, well, he's, he's done well. He's just about half an inch. All right. Absolutely, just about. And I'm, I'm sure the umpires also know the statistics. They said, wait on, hold on. Very, very lucky for Pakistan. Well bowled, Wahab Riyaz. And Sangakara is on his way. And there's a huge, huge roar. It's a tremendous roar. The moment he walks into the ground, because this has been his terrain, his territory. And it's not only the kids who uh, gave him the guard of war honor. Pakistanis, the entire Pakistan team is out there. And, and, and that's a wonderful gesture. That is just about perfect test match cricket and spirit for you and camaraderie and respecting the talent of a genius. Very sporting. And congratulations from us also for Mahila Jaiwadhana for a tremendous career, a great career. And as probably you've already heard, that like Don Bradman, he also started his last test match on the 14th of August until the 18th of August. I will not tell you what happened to Don Bradman, you all know that. Yeah, who will be the Eric Holis for Pakistan? It's 162 for two. Two for 93 in 27 overs. Moves across, that's wrapped him in front of the stumps, and Apar gives him out. Mahela Jayawodne is uh, taken out of the equation by Saeed Ajmal. Just a little shimmy across, covering the stumps, and he's not taking the review. He, he feels that uh, he was in front of the stumps, so a good sharp turn from Saeed Ajmal, taking care of Mahela Jayawodne. He's not been great playing, uh, playing the off spinner. Saeed has had uh, better off Mahela, but he still will get a standing ovation because he richly deserves it. They're all gathered in to watch a Mahela knock. And he's left early and uh, left them high and dry. He goes out, leg before wicket to say that's my four. A real shame for everyone here. And here we have a replay of it. But if you're going to get Mahela J. Wardner out, you have to get him early. And sometimes the ball will hurry on to you. And I guess like any other batsman, if you're not ready for it, then it's on to you, particularly against a bowler like Saeed Ajmal, who is deceptive in there and makes a little bit of pace off the pitch. So it was unfortunate today. He's gone. So Sri Lanka 167 for three now. Oh, is that taken? I think that's a stunner. That's absolutely well done at short leg. Azhar Ali has. Uh, has been absolutely outstanding at short leg and uh, well what a catch great reflexes this really came off the middle of the bat and he didn't flinch he was still looking at the batsman and just about in the right position right distance from the bat really to take that wonderful catch excellent cricket from Azar Ali Upul Taranga sadly misses a ton goes out for 92 it's 177 for four Oh, he hit that beautifully, didn't he? Didn't just the sound of it was outstanding. Oh, bouncer, it's in the air a little bit. He pulls it away for four. Edge taken this time, straight forward. Reward for Junaid Khan. He's bowled extremely well, and again that line that Lairo Tiriman 
seem to struggle just outside the off stump. Held this line, this time straight forward to the keeper. It's just reward for some excellent bowling uh, by Junaid Khan. Tirimana goes for 20. It's 215 for 5. Lovely shot. Now that is one good shot for you. Just a scoop over mid-off. The footwork was great, and he'll get a thumbs up from his captain also. Did he pick it? Did he pick it? He went good first stride at the ball, and look, timing. Just didn't try to overhit the ball. Look at the first stride and got himself in a beautiful position. Just hit through the line. Quality. Appeals out, says the umpire. Are they going to go for a review? I don't think they should, but uh, well, yes, they have. There it is, and I think that is uh, umpire's call, so he's going to be out. On your way, mate. <laughs> There you are, it's the umpire's call, and there you are, that's out. And the Kuala has to go. So another wicket falls with the new ball this time. And uh, South Africa making serious inroads. The Kuala goes for 24, 249 for six. That's up from the pad. Pakistanis all went up, and I'm sure they might go for the review here. Yes, they have. There's the review. Why not? They've got both left. There are four more wickets to go, and another one. That's not a no ball. Junaid Khan very careful. His uh, record is very good so far as no balls are concerned. Now, was there an edge? I think there was. Yes. So that's hit the stumps, and I think he's gone. There was no bat, and um, this is hitting the stumps. So he has to go. Not out. Uh, out. So that was it. He said not out. Uh, there was a suspicion that there may have been just a faint edge, but there wasn't, of course. Absolutely right. 249 for seven. Dilruan Pereira came and went. He's out for a duck. LBW to Junaid, giving him his fourth wicket. And Sri Lanka, 249 for seven. That's gone. Yes, he's got some touch, I would imagine. Would he review it? Or did he really get a big touch? Well, I heard something that yes, and Matthew says, all right, let's review. He's not sure. The, the batting team review. There was no doubt there was a sound, but the question was, did it touch bat or pad? That's fair. It's not a no ball. And there it goes. Where did... Oh, yes. I think he did. He did. He did get, get the glove, probably. Yes, that was... Uh, it was way away from any pad. Out, out. Come on! There was, yes. I think... Uh, Out, says Richard Dillingworth, and he also looks at the watch, say, should we go away now? Have a bit of rest. <laughs> there goes Angelo Matthews, a prize wicket of Angelo Matthews. 39, Kortsar Faraz, Bol Wahab, and Sri Lanka 261 for 8. These are the most number of wickets that have fallen 
at the SSC on the first day for the last seven years. Eight wickets. 261 for eight. Well done, Pakistan. Four wickets for Junaid Khan. Three for Wahab Riyaz. That's the Sri Lankan card. Karanga, Kaushal Silva started well and uh, they both uh, profited. Karanga making 92. But uh, after that, wickets uh, have fallen at regular intervals and uh, those 30s and 20s have really not been converted into anything big and Sri Lanka had paid the price for that. Pakistan's bowling, Junaid Khan, the pick of the bowlers, 4 for 69, very well supported by Wahab Riyaz, 3 for 66. Ajmal chipping in with a wicket, Rahman wicketless. Those are the follow wickets, 144 for 2 and then 261 for 8 at the end of the day's play. After 85 overs and one deliveries have been bowled, there were 15 extras.